I'm really excited to be here at the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne. Today is the IFFM press conference, which is the start of the festival. It's most exciting because today is the show of strength because it's going to be such solid, strong presence from the length and breadth of India. We've got the Bollywood stars, but we've got a whole contingent from the South. We've got Reema Das, uh, who's here from Assam. So I, I think it's just the most exciting um, press conference we're going to have. I'd really like to extend a very, very warm welcome to Minister Martin Foley. This festival has grown year on year to now become the Southern Hemisphere's largest annual celebration of Indian cinema and one of Australia's most significant foreign language film events. When I was shooting here for Chande, uh, this young lady here, she had this big dream of having a festival for Indian films. Uh, which always is so heartening, which always is uh, so encouraging because of the second generations and the third generations which have settled in Australia, people like me do. Uh, Indian cinema has been taken all over the world and it's extremely gratifying, it's an uh, extremely <coughs> happy moment and uh, also it just makes I think every Indian crowd that we can be called upon, uh, not only through our cinema, but through our culture, through wonderful actors and actresses and directors and producers who are present on the highest day. Um, and we honored like this, so we are very happy to be here. All the selection of movies is really on point and resonant with the theme of courage. So, Meetu, congratulations to you, and may the force of good cinema and spirit always be with you. Thank you. So, I was I was shooting a film called Hera, the great Mr. Kamalasan. I came onto the set. Hey, who ja? Hey, who no kapa ja? Kya karte? Tu mera pa ja? Kali gulag na ya pe. So I did this amazing um, uh, Zanjeer Pran Sab acting uh, you know, of a Pathan and robust friend. And then suddenly he said, now you have to say this in Tamil. <laughs> and this whole thing, I didn't know how to say, hey, ko jay, kaba ja. I didn't know how to say that only. Okay. 42 takes. And I kept on saying, so I would say, abba tu baki. And then Kamal sir would say, no, one song. Abba tu baki. Abba tu baki. I tried everything. And he told me this is some different dialect and I can't get it right. And uh, so my life in the South cinema centers around these two <laughs> words. Appa Dupati means what? Gun? Am I right? No, no. No, sorry. Don't break my heart. An exclamation. Gun? Appa Dupati? So now that you understand <laughs> where my future in Malayalam cinema lies, but but to tell you honestly, I, I really want to compliment one of the most wonderful actors I've seen in my life. So how do you think, what is the mantra to stay relevant in this transient time? It's important to constantly look around you and not just at what the work you're doing. And I think very rarely does that happen. It's important to look around you in this room or anywhere else um, at any given point of time and just suss out what's going on in the world. The film festival is very exciting for me because you get to be in a place which is just surrounded by people that do what you do and love what you do. You get to watch work from all over the world. You get to collaborate. It's, it's an amazing, amazing space. I'm very excited to be here, first of all. Uh, I think as, as Indian films go, we need to do a lot more to internationalize. If you see, it's been an exciting year. The kind of films we have produced as Bollywood, whether it's Andadun, what we did, or whether it's um, Super Deluxe, or even Gully Boy, these are not what you would typically associate with the Bollywood mainstream. So I think it's a very exciting time to be telling uh, Indian stories, and I'm talking uh, later uh, on a panel where we discuss the future of Indian cinema. Congratulations to Ifim on 10 years. Welcome. We are waiting here for Shah Rukh Khan, the King Khan. At your own hero in other country, that's always a great feeling. I love Shadi Khan. We are really looking forward to hear from Reema Das herself about her film, Bulbul Khan Singh. And we're waiting for the great man Shah Rukh Khan himself to engrace us with his presence for the start of the Indian Film Festival. Nice.
tremendous event, it's 10th year, uh, it just seems to get better and better and we are so thrilled to have uh, a person of your calibre here with us tonight. Good evening everyone. Oh! On behalf of me too, who's my old friend and everybody at the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, thank you very much for joining us in such large numbers. Menaka BSR Film Festival opening kya nahi? फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स में ज़्यादा जाता भी नहीं क्योंकि अब उन मेरी फिल्में ऐसी होती नहीं जो फिल्म फेस्टिवल में दिखाते हैं। I want to thank everybody who's been part of this festival. I think it's an amazing idea, Mr. Bull here. Thank you very much, Caroline. It's a great idea because cinema is the best medium to remain in touch with your culture and not only culture, what's happening back home with your families, your friends, your near and dear ones. Love, life, and laughter. Uh, these are three things which are beaded together uh, through different uh, aspects of cinema. Sometimes commercially put like that with the song and dancing which uh, I partake more of and uh, you know the serious cinema, the intellectual cinema and cinema which talks about topics that normally uh, we sometimes try to avoid in uh, our daily lives. We have uh, Dima's film coming down here, uh, Bulbul can sing. And uh, it's a coming of age of three children uh, going beyond what the community expects of them in physical sense, in mental sense, and an emotional sense. So it's been interesting and a wonderful movie to watch. Rima has a team of six, seven people. She takes the camera. She goes to the villages in Assam. And four or five months later, she comes back with a film. And then it's the toast of every film festival in the country. She has all authentic casting. She writes, she edits, she composes the music. Uh, short of acting, she does everything. I think the word of you, Rima, and it's such a privilege that you're opening the festival today. Thank you. I don't have words to express. And I cannot thank you enough, Shahrukh sir, bringing so much love, warmth, and excitement on this special screening of Bulbul Can Sing and uh, huge congratulations me too and uh, your team. I came to Mumbai to become an actor but <laughs> I, was not, I was not brave enough to make it uh, but when I was back to my village I connected to my roots and when I was uh, shooting this film I felt liberated in the wilderness and but I realized that if you are free, then you can sing the song of life. Thank you so much. Before I tell you, I want to tell you that my friends were very gently saying, Don't get out, don't get out! 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 So I, I declare the... <coughs> Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, over. Hi Reema, congratulations on the film. I absolutely loved it. Um, my question was regarding um, the actors in the film. They are all uh, first man actors. Hi, that was a really beautiful movie and I really liked it. Um, I wanted to know what would you like one thing to take away from this movie? It's all about being human, you know. So, like, live your life and also allow to leave others their dreams and aspirations. Just come out uh, from watching Wolf and Sea. And one thing I really liked about the movie was that it was so authentic. Um, I've been back to my dad's village in Bangalore and uh, the culture and the, the, the way of living is very similar to how his parents have lived and how he's grown up. I love that it was so accurately reflected. I thought the cinematography was superb. 